Adele Salam. I represent the fantastic people of Eden North, Eden South, Egbert Dore, Jibo Federal Constituency of Ocean State. And I want to again thank the mover of this motion, Honorable Yusuf Gamji, for bringing up a very, very crucial matter on this day. Mr. Speaker, it's like the mover of the motion knows what I'm going through. Because about evening yesterday, I received a very depressing call from someone in my federal constituency who has worked as a casual staff for 17 years in an agency, well, in Command Day Secondary School, Ede, which is a school under the Ministry of Defense, for 17 years as a casual staff, and they are almost 40 in number. And in the last five years, Mr. Speaker, there has been recruitment almost on a yearly basis into the same institution. Only for these casual staff to get to the school one day and see a new staff and wonder when the advertisement was made for recruitment when the interview was made. Now, Mr. Speaker, we are all aware of the fact that unemployment is about the most major social economic problem we have as a nation. And the cry of the average Nigerian youth is for the principles of equal opportunities, not only to be enshrined in our law books, but to be carried out and be seen to be effected in the process, especially of recruitment into ministries, departments, and agencies of government. There is no doubt that one of the things that is shrouded mostly in secrecy in Nigeria today is recruitment. There is absolute lack of transparency in how most government ministries, departments, and agencies carry out recruitment to the extent, like my brother, Honorable Abedjide said, that employment letters are today like commodities hawked, bidded for, virtually everywhere in government offices. Now, we are building a country where we hope that our children and the youth of this country will be proud to stand up for Nigeria wherever they are. What happens to a Nigerian who is qualified for an appointment somewhere, but whose only sin is that he is not a son of the rich, a daughter of the mighty, or a friend of the well-connected? And only because of that, he or she is denied of the opportunity of getting employed in the public service of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I believe that this motion, Mr. Speaker, is one that deserves urgent attention. We must be able to send out the signal to whoever is involved that we are trying to build a nation where the man from Katina, the man from Eboni, the girl from Oshun, and the woman from Lagos will be able to stand up in the future and say, I am from a country that respects equity, transparency, and fairness. Mr. Speaker, I want to urge that the prayers in this motion be granted, and we should go further to institute a mechanism through which appropriate checks and monitoring will be done so that when people who are involved in these corrupt practices are brought to book, to serve as a deterrent for others. Mr. Speaker, I support this motion, and I want to urge that we grant the prayers and go a step further to do all that we need to do to ensure that we nip this recurring ill wind in the bud. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.